the people again that enjoy IndyCar series uh, uh, to uh, to come back again. To uh, to we gotta go to a place that we are welcome. If and if uh, Road America is asking for us, we should go for it. Well, I'll tell you what, and and you you've been racing in the series for a very long time, and yes. I know that you've got a a very deep appreciation for the history of of the sport. And you've driven this uh, circuit ten times before. Um, can you tell me about some of your favorite memories? Oh boy, my first trophy was uh, certainly uh, one of my favorite memories. Finishing so. second uh, place here, holding off um, Alan Jr. Actually, and uh, it was uh, it was amazing on um, the fuel strategy. And my but my best moment actually was uh, 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 capturing my first pole position in 1999 with Hogan Racing. So that was. Uh, uh, that was awesome. Felt like I won Indy 500 for a moment, but uh, <laughs> then later on I was able to accomplish that as well. You, uh, obviously, I mean, you're probably going to have to be politically correct about this question, but do you find a home with Penske Racing? Are you real happy here? Very much so. I mean, um, Roger and Sindrick, you know, uh, besides being my boss, um, actually I, I really found them as a good friend. Um, for everything happening in my life and um, and uh, the way we are we capture a lot of wins together and a lot of uh, uh, you know loyalty and um, I really enjoy to be in with this group now we have a new uh, uh, kids on the block let's put this way because now I'm the veteran which is uh, Will Power and uh, Ryan Briscoe and and the atmosphere inside the team is really cool we're really uh, pushing each other but in the same way we know the importance to be in this team that's fantastic. Now, the Penske organization has such a storied past. They're, they were viewed as kind of the real first professional team when Mark Donahue drove. Do you, do you kind of feel that sense of history when, when you step into the Penske racing uh, pit lane and all that here at the track? You know, the, the name uh, Team Penske basically is... Um, it's a name that uh, no matter what happened, if you win or lose, uh, people always put as a reference, you know, uh, always finish ahead of Team Penske or Team Penske won, you know, ahead of everybody else, which th that's what everybody's always expect. But uh, we always, uh, Roger always set up the bar. And let me tell you, he's the first guy uh, to be here in the racetrack and the last guy to leave when he's here. So he could be, you know, he's a very successful business person. He could be enjoying, you know, uh, the weekend with his family, but this is his his job. I mean, he loves, he's passionate about racing, and that's why uh, we all feel with the same commitment to represent well Team Penske and that, and everybody outside of our organization always see Team Penske as a, a, a very, uh, a follow, a team to follow, in, uh, if not on the racetrack and directions, but obviously on the outside, how they present themselves and things like that. I mean, they're like Scuderia, Ferrari is to Correct. Formula One, Team Penske Correct. is to IndyCar racing. Really, it's it's Team the Penske, story it, team. It's not going anything. They don't lose anything for McLaren or Ferrari or all those teams with a lot of history. Uh, actually, uh, Roger is right up there with those guys too. Absolutely. Now, just a just a quick bit about the track itself. You've got you've got a lot of road racing in your background, which is which yeah. is cool, yeah. And uh, they're saying, and uh, maybe you said it last week, or don't know if it was you or if it was Dario, or but somebody was talking about all the footwork that you're having to do on the Milwaukee Mile. It's very comparable to road racing. Yeah, no, it's um, it wasn't me, but I agree with the person who said it because uh, let me tell you, it is uh, it's not flat out. It's a mile on a uh, mile oval uh, um, uh, without banking and uh, and it's tough because uh, you want to go flat out but uh, the tires start moving away and uh, constantly traffic you don't have a clean clear lap or like uh, the one and a half mile oval or Indianapolis things like that so you got to have a very consistent car and uh, even sometimes it's not that fast but they're able to manage well the tires so that through the whole long run you are consistent and you're in good shape and you can use different lanes not only the high side but also the low lane as well well are you able to rest at all during a lap no in fact that's a, a very good question we don't have sometimes enough time to look to the the, the lap time you know it's so fast i mean we're talking about 20 21 seconds, 21 yeah. seconds and uh but we are there working i mean come on uh, 21 seconds you can you can look but but we are actually constantly working in the car and and if there is somebody in front of you it's it's kind of like that so Inside the, 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 the cockpit, it's very, very busy. 
uh, uh, maybe the speed doesn't reach like 230 miles an hour like Indianapolis, but trust me, it's fast. Yeah, and it's and it's really exciting racing to watch because usually I've seen. Um, I think back to you holding off Alonso Jr. I think back to uh, Michael Andretti. And uh, do you remember that fight between Greg Moore and in, Michael yes, Andretti? In that. fact, in fact the, the year that I did pole position, Greg Moore came to me and said, man, looks like you don't need to celebrate that much because it looks like you just won Indy 500. I'm like, come on, man. It was my, my first <laughs> pole position. But uh, again, yes, this place is tough. This place is difficult. So we're glad that uh, we're back again. Oh, that's fantastic. Hey, you know, I really thank you for your time today. Well, thank you Thanks for joining much. us. Appreciate huh? that. Hopefully we can get out of here now without a problem. Hey, by <laughs> the way, by the way, if you win tomorrow, are you going to climb the fence? I, I, if I don't have in my vocabulary, so it's when I win. So when you win tomorrow? Uh, here we go. <laughs> are, you, are you climbing the fence? Absolutely. I All mean, right. this is the only place I still didn't uh, actually check it out, so I definitely got to <laughs> check out the fence here. <laughs>